Ladies and gents, I thought I'd come up with seven outfits that you can wear for the following week. So what are we gonna wear this week? I've come up with some ideas. Day one, how about, while we still can, let's just carry on using those sneakers because we're soon enough gonna be in boots, aren't we? Soon enough, sneakers at the bottom. Adding some jeans, adding a bright t-shirt and a bright moto back jacket. Do you have a moto and a t-shirt that match? If not, cardigan and t-shirt cardigan and um, uh, t-shirt and jacket. Something bright. I've got this sort of mustardy yellow pop, a pop of colour. So first outfit, pop of colour, sneakers, jeans, neutral bag, done and dusted. Just as we're squeezing that last bit of use out of our, our trainers, how about white jeans as well? Let's just squeeze a little bit of more use out of those before we pack them away white jeans and here I'm using an olive t-shirt and a cardigan that goes with it. You might have a dark blue t-shirt or a dark brown t-shirt but and you might have a cardigan or a jacket that is, is the same colour but slightly lighter and put the two together with the white jeans. The lighter outer layer complements the white jeans yet the darker colour of the t-shirt is kind of saying autumn, saying fall and autumn. I've chosen olive t-shirt and a slightly sagey coloured cardigan with the white jeans and the trainers. And chinos, we'll be putting them away soon so let's wear those now as well. So I've taken a dark pair of chinos, these are navy, you might have black. And I'm adding a classic striped long sleeved t-shirt. Mine's got a bit of a design on it, a bit of floral there but you could, you could have just a straight, striped as I'm wearing here, t-shirt, long sleeve t-shirt. Put a cardigan with it or a jacket. For this example, I'm showing how I would wear it out and I would add maybe a safari jacket over the top or a, a autumnal colored jacket, weight jacket as well. That's actually going to be right for the weather and the colors are, are toning in together. So the safari jacket is similar color to the striped top. You won't necessarily have great green, sage green or olive, but you know, you may have Two that will complement each other and they will go then with the neutral coloured chinos. Add a bag, add sneakers again. For the adventurous who, and or those who want to give this look a go, or those who feel, feel, feel perfectly comfortable in a hat, a pop of colour with a hat, but you could actually make a pop of colour with a scarf, or a pop of colour with the shoes, or a pop of colour with the, the bag. I have decided to make an, a pop of autumnal colour with a hat, I'm wearing a grey moto, grey t-shirt, jeans and a neutral black and again those sneakers while it's the weather's still warm enough for them, bare feet and sneakers. So in summary the formula here is jeans, sneakers, complementary outer layer with the with t-shirt I've chosen grey and a pop of autumnal colour, a pop of burgundy in a scarf, a bracelet, a necklace, shoes, bag, hat. Cover all eventualities, you may be going out with friends, you may be seeing people, you might want something nice to wear to go out. How about a patterned blouse, white jeans, those good old sneakers, or you might want loafers or whatever you, you, you wear on your feet this time of year, what you're comfortable with. Personally, I use these trainers an awful lot because I walk generally a lot of the places I go to and these are fashionable anyway, so they're practical, comfortable and I don't feel frumpy in them. So yes, a colourful blouse, a cardigan because it's practical, or swap out the cardigan and wear a jacket that complements this blouse. The white jeans, comfortable, comfortable fit wear, and a bag. I'm using a neutral tote bag as well here. There is a very easy outfit formula for going out. On the other hand, a staying in outfit, taking a top wore earlier on in the week, striped long sleeve top, put it with some dark indigo jeans. In my case, I have decided that I would wear uh, flared jeans and that's it, because you're not going anywhere. This is an indoor outfit, indoor casual outfit. Another hat outfit, if you're brave, if you're brave, if you're not, leave the hat. But I have decided that in this instance, or this for this example, there may be a cold day, so it's a sweater day, it's a jumper day, thick neutral colored jumper, dark indigo jeans, some ankle boots, I've chosen flat ankle boots with a bit of design, a bit of a statement on them because they're sparkly leopard print. Yeah, yeah, yeah sparkly leopard print. <laughs> but practical and comfortable so I can walk in them. 
I did a hat, I did a scarf, I did a autumnal coloured motor jacket or jacket over the top of a neutral jumper. So there you go, seven outfits that you could have a go at putting together for yourself this coming week. And I hope that's given you some ideas and I'll see you all in another outfit.